So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about entity forms in Power Apps portals. So I've created this very simple feedback form in my Power Apps portal. It's just evaluating a particular class that was run for training and, you know, the date of the class and pretty simple stuff. And then we're just going to submit that form and it's going to save the record back to Dataverse. So once I showed this to a particular customer, they come back with requirements saying, you know, we want some extra text here. And we also want to have an accept button with a little tick box that's going to hide the submit button before the user can submit that form. So the easy thing to do is just fire up your portal studio, go to that particular web page with that form component, and we'll just add a piece of text directly to that, fill that in with whatever text our customer gives us. And from that, we can continue on for at least the first part of the requirement. So let's see what this looks like on our particular portal. So we have that there now. However, when we look at it, we actually want that to be before the submit button and not after the submit button. So our issue is on the portal studio, the submit button is part of the form. So I'm not able to inject text in between the submit button and the form. So how do we address this issue? So of course you all know that if you put a form on a Power Apps portal page, that's based off of a model driven Power App form. So I'm in the Power Apps maker portal into the form designer, and I've added a new section to my form that's being used as the basis for the form that's on the portal. I've added that section and in the section label, I've actually begun to put the comments there in the section title. So there we'll be able to have those comments. And then while I'm here, I'm going to add a, a a uh, Boolean field or rather a yes, no field to indicate whether the user has accepted the terms. So now this looks a lot better. We have our comment before our submit button, but if that comment changes on a regular basis, are we going to really want to publish our form and distribute their solution through our ALM for even just a minor text edit? Wouldn't it be better to use something like a content snippet in this particular form? Well, I'm going to show you how we can make that happen. So I discovered the other day while working with a model driven form that I use for a Power Wraps portal page was that we could inject HTML directly into labels on the model driven form and the portal page will render that HTML. So I thought I could insert a content snippet using a liquid tag that didn't work. So what I did instead was I put in the HTML, just a regular paragraph tag. I have the ID set up there. So it's a very straightforward piece of HTML that is sitting in the Power Apps portal in that model driven form. So in order to inject text into that particular paragraph ID, I'm going to need to use some JavaScript. Now, don't be too afraid of JavaScript. It's just a couple lines of code. I'm into the entity form and I need to go into the additional settings to edit that JavaScript. And at the bottom of the additional settings tab is the field to edit JavaScript. I pasted in some code here. I'm waiting for the document to be fully loaded. That's why we have that ready function going. And then I'm just basically inserting that text into the inner HTML of that paragraph ID using that ID terms that we set up earlier. So we're a little bit closer uh, with having our text on our form. It just basically looks the same as before, but it's now pulling it from that JavaScript, but we want to actually make it a little bit more flexible. So we want to inject a content snippet. So once again, I'm going to go into the portal management app, and now I'm going to create a brand new content snippet where I'm going to put in that agreement, agreement terms. Um, we need to, again, pick the website, choose the display name and determine whether we're going to show text or HTML. And then here we can put in the value of what we want those terms and conditions to read. And a couple things that this is the benefit is if this changes, someone just needs to go in and updates that record. If that content snippets used in multiple places, we can use that in our code in a lot of different places. And if it's multilingual, we can actually use that content snippet. We have different language versions for that content snippet. So now that I've set up that content snippet, I'm going to add that as a liquid tag directly into my JavaScript code. This is going to be interpreted on the server. So by the time it gets to the client, it's going to be straight up JavaScript and it's going to be able to read that snippet and then inject it into that HTML paragraph placeholder directly on the entity form. And so far we see the form and we actually see that content snippet now. So now we can update that in just one spot. Uh, very easily as opposed to doing it in the form directly. 
So while we're at it, let's try to hide and show that submit button. First thing I'm going to need to do is make that agreement terms yes, no radio button into a checkbox. Now I need to go into the classic form editor for this. This is something that I'm not able to do in the new form editor yet. I'm going to switch that to checkbox and then we're going to save and publish this particular form. So I've added more JavaScript to the entity form. I've added the show submit button function, which basically is reading the value of that agree to terms checkbox. And if it is checked, it's going to show the submit button. And if it's not checked, it's going to hide the submit button. So when a user clicks on the agree to terms or unclicks on the agree to terms, it's going to hide and show that submit button on the form. So it started out as a pretty simple requirement. It had a few more things that got added to the to-do list, which is pretty typical for a Power Platform project. But as you can see, it just took a little bit of creativity. We could actually use the HTML tags. We could put in the content snippet and a little bit of JavaScript to meet our requirements and make customers happy.